Okay, so we are ripping up the carpet. As you can tell, we're going to start. Our carpet is turned and tucked right there at the very beginning where the carpet meets the floor. So we have to uh, kind of cut from the middle. Hold on, right. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. See? I don't know what's under there. So I thought it was that floor that went all the way under there. But it could possibly be just subfloor. No, it's so deep. what is it? Oh, sweet! My suspicions were uh, confirmed on this, actually. Did you think it was the, yeah. the kitchen floor, oh, too? Yeah, I, I, I had a sneaky suspicion, but... Why would they just put down carpet? Well, I guess for the slide, but still. Carpet is atrocious for kids, am I right, babe? Well, yeah, absolutely. You have uh, a lot of spills and a lot of accidents, so, yeah. That's why it's going. Yep. There's no need for it, really. I mean... I prefer carpet, but we have kids, so we just, it's just going to get nastier and nastier, and it's going to get darker, and, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with it. I know you don't like that. Oh, yeah, I hate carpet, but as you can tell, we had to cut um, a few inches back in order to work our way up towards the front. Since it's so turned and tucked, we couldn't, we weren't able to get anything up under there in order to pry it up. It's just really hard. It's so much easier to take some something and cut it and uh, work your way up. But my husband has a way better start than I did. Holy moly. I'm, uh, I'm good at demolition. He's, he's like the boss, man. Because I can tell you that when I tried to do this, I, I was not Nasty faring very is. well. How crappy that is. Ew. Pretty gross. That is disgusting. That's not, that's not that. Oh my gosh, that is way easier than I thought. There are no staples there whatsoever. It's only right it's here only, where it's yeah, turned it's and tucked. It's just the border. I mean, you're not gonna... Holy crap. Okay. It holds up, see? So, and this has cushion on it, which I didn't think it did. Which is cool. Um... Okay, people, I can tell you that when I did the stairs last week, um, it was not fun. It was atrocious. It was a nightmare. Um, every two inches, and you can see because I haven't pulled all those out yet, but every two inches was a staple. It was like a square of two inches in staples. And it took me this little section right here. I have a little runner right now, so we don't step on that. But um, Use my that, that little section right there took me about an hour just to rip it up and pull out a majority of the staples so and I'm clearly not even done but look at the boss right here this was all of three minutes that he's gotten this up like a champ and this is also why hard. I'm so excited that he's off today and for the next few days but you can see how much dirt the carpet accumulates under there. Yeah, that's pretty gross. It is very foul. I don't know. And with kids, that stuff can carry things. But look at that. Just a clean pool. Mm -hmm. I was so worried that this was going to be uh, I swear. like so time consuming. And like the stairs was, I was really dreading it, to be honest. So I was really excited when my husband was like, let's do it. So... We have our new flooring already, and um, we've just been waiting to put this down. But we've been putting this off for a while. So, so glad our carpet is like this. And my husband is so awesome for doing this. He's way stronger than I am too. Like way, way stronger. So that makes life a little bit easier for him. Anyways. This is uh, the first part of it, and I'll let you guys check back in with us whenever we get some more done. All right, so this is how far we've gotten. This is where the couch was. We, my husband did all of this by himself, ripped it up. Sweetie, how hard was it? It wasn't hard until you get to the, the corners and the edges of the wall. And uh, yeah, it makes for an uh, interesting way to get it the carpet out of the wall. So it's just like 
almost like it's glued in on the side. They put the carpet down first and then yeah. put the walls on. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to get them out of the wall in between the floor, so. But at the part that is you know, on the main part of the floor is easy to get up. Yeah, I was that shocked. Part, there was no staples, no nails, really anything. Easy. Well, they had staples along the edge here. And that's really all, all there was, so. Yeah. But uh, we haven't got to this part yet, which I imagine will be pretty easy. I mean, I don't know. There's a subfloor. Yeah, these are all, these are all hammered down already. Mm -hmm. So how long has it taken you to just rip up this, this part right here so far? 45 minutes, maybe. No, mm -hmm. maybe more, maybe a little longer. Yeah. About an hour, probably. And most of that was due to the, the edges so far oh, that you've yeah, had totally. to take. Yeah, I want not kind of clean it as you go. That takes time. Right, because you, he's already cleaned this whole floor. He got down and scrubbed it with his hands and knees uh, to make sure that we can lay flooring down on a clean floor. So this floor right here is actually the floor that goes into our bathroom. So these two floors are actually two different floors which is silly in my opinion, but, oh, wow, that's coming up pretty clean. Okay, this is not how clean, it, oh, don't, this is not how clean it came up on uh, the other walls on the other side of the RV, but my husband is, has not done this before. Um, well, actually we did in our old house, huh? Uh, yeah, we did a lot in our house. And that was a huge pain. That was probably way more of a pain than this because it was just a lot more. But cutting against the side of the wall seems to help, huh, sweetie? Yeah, it does, absolutely. And making sure you have a sharp blade is very paramount. So, so far so good, huh, sweetie? All right, so we kind of finished the flooring. I'm the one who did the measurements for this floor, and um, I was off by just a little bit. We, when I say we, I mean I, I miscalculated by that strip and this little strip right here. Um, whoops, did not mean to do that. And also the bathroom part. I don't know if anyone else has ever laid this Allure vinyl flooring before. Um, it's not that hard, but would your advice be to take up the toilet to lay down this flooring in the bathroom or to cut around it? So any advice on that would be cool. Um, other than that, I think it looks beautiful. I am very excited about it. Uh, it's so easy to take care of, easy to sweep, easy to clean, um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, here's a before and after. So here's our nasty carpet, and then here's beautiful wood flooring. So um, huge, huge difference. We do plan on doing the dinette. Uh, probably not anytime soon this is this color is about sixty dollars a box and I think it only covers about 24 square feet um, so this we would need two boxes just to finish the little strips and the dinette in the bathroom which is not a priority right now but until then I have put down this wax paper type stuff so that the sticky stuff on the bottom wouldn't stick to the old floor and that I could easily attach more flooring to it whenever we got some in. Um, but I laid down all the flooring, my husband tore it up, all of it basically by himself and I laid it by myself with him basically telling me what to do. Um, I did mess up a couple spots. One is right here. I don't know if you can see it. That is something attempting to poke through. Maybe a piece of a staple I forgot, but I don't know how to get that back down without making it worse. So for right now, it's just going to be as is. 
And then also, I messed up. Where is it? Well, mall's not gonna show you. This won't push back anymore. But basically, this stuff right here, well, I'll show you over here. This stuff right here, there's a gap under here for you to fit more flooring in. And I basically shoved another piece right under here and it didn't have the lip. So, um, so this piece is pressed down and the other piece is up. So it looks really awkward. Um, but it's under the couch and you can't tell. And it's our home, so um, I don't really care what other people think. But for not measuring, not being really good at measuring and cutting and all that jazz, I think it looks really stinking good. Um, we want to do this, this dinette part. This, this whole area, clearly my boys spilt something. See, this is why I hate carpet because the spills, I mean, who in the world would have a bunkhouse and a carpeted dinette? I mean, that just doesn't make sense when you have kids. But um, our kids are just really messy. So we want to lay the same flooring up here. Now our problem is this part right here. I'm not really sure what to put down right here. We can't put the flooring down over here because it's too bumpy and that just wouldn't work. If anyone has any suggestions for this little gap right here, let me know. I do have an idea for this piece. I'm just going to put down like uh, one of those things you put on the top of the steps, like a kick guard kind of thing made for just the size. But other than that, this little gap, I don't exactly know what to do with so and it also goes into this little piece right here I'm not sure what to do with this right here but this has got to come up I mean a two and a four year old just I mean this carpet is is gross and I should if you guys remember this carpet was in like new condition when we bought it I mean there's the new part because we took out the benches and then there's what my kids have done. And we've had this for seven months. And that's how bad it's been. That's why we need the vinyl flooring. But that's what we've gotten done so far with the flooring. And um, really excited about it. Hopefully this stuff will stay down so the sticky stuff doesn't show until we can get another couple boxes. But... I think it looks great. We've had it for a few days now. Extremely durable. Um, my kids love it. They love to put on their socks and slide on the floor. For some strange reason, having the wooden look or whatever, all one floor even, just makes this RV look bigger. And it's clearly the same size, but it just feels nicer and bigger. So... I'm really excited about it. Let me know what you guys think. And this is how far we've got. Thanks guys for watching.